Stage 9.725, the night before the showdown. I'm sending advanced troops into the Narita Mountains. I've also determined the military strength of the Japan Liberation Front. Pleased with yourself? Yes, very. I can finally pay back Cornelia for what she did to us. You really do hate to lose, don't you? Does anyone like to lose? Goes with the bloodline, I guess. Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Lelouch, you in there? <laughs> Suzaku! Got a minute? Can I come in? Uh, hold on! No, my room is a mess! Hey! What are you... Stop Go it! Go on! Coming in! <laughs> What's up, Suzaku? Lelouch? Why are you sleeping underneath the bed? Uh, I just dropped something. Lelouch, stuffing me down here is going to cost you big time. Be silent. Suzaku, listen. I know we're friends and all, but just walking into my room like this is rude. I knocked. And then you're supposed to wait till I say come in. Why don't you think before you do things? Use your head. You've always been like that, just barging in places whenever you feel like it. Oh, have I? Yes. If you would respect people's privacy once well, a- Lelouch, you're just too secretive. Even back at the shrine you had your pork buns, bean crepes, and that stuffed weasel toy. Hold on. You remember those things, but you forget everything else? What? What do you mean? I don't forget everything. You do. Like that time we wanted to send messages, so I came up with that great secret code. Which was impossible to learn. It was like 500 different hand signals. I remembered them. But in the end, you changed it to a simpler code, didn't you? Because you couldn't read the messages. Well, thank you, Lelouch, for all that extra effort. Dork. Don't just say thank you like that. You know, you've changed since then. Have I? You have. Everything used to be me, me, me. You were completely self-centered. And you've also changed. You're a bit more rough. <laughs> now you're 17, so of course... What? You've got a girlfriend now, don't you? See? There's a long hair over here. It's not Nanalee's or Shirley's, is it? Uh, what? D don't be absurd. That, that, that doesn't mean it's from a girl. It's okay. You don't have to hide it. Of course I won't tell Nanalee about it either. Hey, we're both 17 now. Things like this are perfectly natural. Things like this? Things like this? Like what? What's she like? I'm curious. Huh? Oh, how do I describe her? Well, she's not easy to figure out. So she's kind of mysterious? I guess you could say that. Is she cute? No, she's the farthest thing from cute. The homemaker type? Not. She's lazy, never lifts a finger. You sure she's the right girl for you? You don't deal well with people you can't count on. True. She causes endless problems for me. Her clothes are a mess, she's stuck up, selfish, and she's always stuffing her face with junk food. Lelouch, did the bed just move? Ah, hmm. Maybe my alarm clock went off. Alarm clock? It's a new function I installed. Anyway, Suzaku, why'd you come over at this time of night? Oh, I came to give you back your math notes. They were a huge help. Now I'll be able to pass the exam next week. Exams are essentially games where your opponent poses questions. If you can anticipate how your opponent thinks, it's easy. Classic Lelouch. But why make a special trip? You could have given him back in class tomorrow. I've got a work trip starting tomorrow. As an engineer? Huh? Oh, right. Uh, it's a field trip. Sort of. We're inspecting a factory. The plant in Shizuoka? Uh, yeah. You're, uh, well-informed, aren't you? <laughs> I read about it. Lelouch, you're not into anything dangerous, are you? Of course not. The last thing I want is to make Nanali cry. Right. Yes, of course. Sorry, I didn't mean anything. Well, time to go. Gotta get up early. Right. See ya. That was a first. I've never heard our relationship described quite like that. Lying is an art form. To succeed, the lie must have some truth woven into the fabric of deception. Oh, and I thought you were confessing your true feelings for me. Don't be absurd. Me with a bizarre girl like you? Not possible. What? Are you mad at me now? Should I be? Anyway, it's lucky for you your friend's trip isn't taking him to Narita. Suzaku's in the engineering corps. He wouldn't be sent to the front lines. You know, you've said that the only ones who should kill are those who are prepared to be killed. Yes. Then let me ask you this. Are you prepared to kill even someone you know, someone very important to you? <laughs> or are you willing to die like a noble martyr, but not yet willing to kill? I am. Can you? Enough! Anyone who stands in my way, no matter who it is, when the time comes, I'll do it. <laughs> 